Hi, today we're going to talk about Mirai. What Mirai is and how to protect your networks against it. Mirai was specifically designed to infect and compromise IoT devices. Uh, IoT devices being Internet of Things, and these could be your IP cameras, uh, smart thermostats, or DVRs. The way Mirai works is that you have an attacker and he has a command and control center and with that he has a whole herd of bots that he controls and these could be in the thousands whenever he wants to he can command these and control them and point them to attack any victim or target IP address to overwhelm that network and take it offline. So how does it infect the IoT devices? The way Mirai infects IoT devices is that it scans the internet looking for IoT devices that are still using their default usernames and passcodes. In some cases, those could be hard-coded as well, but it's usually those default usernames and passcodes. Not many people like to change those, and that's why it's easy for the botnet, for the herds to grow uh, enormous in size. So how do you protect against it? At A10, we use our threat protection system solution to protect against uh, any sort of attack, including a complicated attack such as Mirai. Mirai being complicated because it not only infects multiple nodes easily uh, by uh, infecting it with uh, using the default username and password, but it can also simultane simultaneously use multiple attack vectors to target that uh, specific IP address. In this case, it can uh, multi-vector attacks could be ranged from any care, where from application layer attacks such as the low and slow attacks, slow loris, or it could do Rudy attacks, etc., uh, all the way down to the uh, network layer attacks, the more of the flood attacks, the SYN floods and TCP UDP floods, etc. So it can use those simultaneously to attack the target, and that actually disrupts or uh, basically a lot of the legacy systems that are in place right now to, for DDoS protection or even your security devices will not be effective against protecting against these more uh, of the sophisticated multi-vector types of attacks. We have developed five principal methods for effective DDoS mitigation. Uh, one is our anomaly check. With anomaly check, what we basically do is we check for uh, traffic conform uh, conformance, packet conformance. We're checking for our RFC standards if it matches. If it doesn't, it gets dropped in hardware. Two, we do black and white lists. Three, we also do authentication challenges. Uh, that's basically to check the source origin to validate that it's an actual person and not a robot. Four, we also do rate limiting. And five, we can do protocol and application checks. Using these five uh, methods, we can effectively uh, mitigate the attack, even if it is multiple types of attacks that are thrown at us or at the target that we're protecting simultaneously. Once we identify the attack, we can actually apply an action to that specific traffic. We can either blacklist the attack, drop the attack, reset the attack, or authenticate it if it passes one of our authentication challenges. With that, thank you for watching the video, and I hope you learned something new.